Hey, this is Yara Stark here, doing a bit of a, I guess a daily recap video for today's Yarrow.tv episode and doing it at night time, testing out the lighting in here with the, the, the other camera I've got from a friend. It's a, a Canon EOS 60D, not quite as nice as the 60D I used for the last video, uh, which another friend has, but anyway, it's good enough. So, um, last night I went to a fireside chat with Tyler Cowley, who's here from Stockholm, although he's originally from LA, I think, or at least he's American, and he's very much in the startup community, especially the startup ecosystem. He's he's almost like a guy who helps the city set up their startup ecosystem to help nurture whatever you need as a city to get the startup community growing. So things like having regular meetup events, having certain key people to to organize the events and getting some sort of brand behind it and having a thing he calls a documentarian or so someone who interviews and, and reports back on the different startups that are, are, are operating in that city. So basically he is a consultant, kind of got a lot of experience in that and he was having a chat to the Brisbane startup community last night which I attended about um, what he's done in the past and what he's doing in Stockholm. So that was interesting from a startup point of view uh, and I'm finding it kind of a unique experience to dive into the startup world, which I've been doing for probably the last, I don't know, two years, and also at the t same time maintain my connection and my income and run a business in the more like the lifestyle design, blogging, information marketing world, which is different from the startup world, both entrepreneurial for sure, but one group is way more into, I guess, getting funding and, and potentially doing bigger projects that might lead to multi-million dollar buyouts, which often require 14 hour working days and you know really being a slave to your startup versus the, the blogger or the information marketer or the general internet marketer who is kind of you know trying to build a business that makes enough money to have a great lifestyle, maybe make $100,000 a year, $200,000 a year, something like that, but not have the business take over your life and really make the business be a vehicle for living the kind of life you like. So different mentalities and uh, interesting to, to be kind of exploring both worlds at the moment, uh, the startup community and the blogging information marketing world. Uh, in other news, I'm heading to Sydney. So if you're down in Sydney and you know of any events that are on in May, I'd love for you to get back to me on Twitter or Facebook because I'm looking for any kind of networking events in the startup or entrepreneurial space in Sydney in May. Well, I'll be down there for a month. I'm actually going to, I think, rent an apartment through Airbnb. It's the first time I'm going to use that service. I don't know if you know about it. It's uh, Airbnb, like bedandbreakfast.com. And they're basically a kind of like a, a, a connection service for people who want to rent out a room in their house or their entire apartment or house to other people who travel. And you can rent your own place or you can find other places to rent all around the world. So. I've been already looking at different Sydney locations, uh, places like Surrey Hills, uh, Newtown, uh, Coogee, Manly, Bondi, just seeing what's available and how much it costs. And at the same time, getting my apartment, where I'm recording this, uh, ready to be rented out. And um, it's uh, looking good. I've got uh, a person already interested in taking my place for the month of May. The little, the little catch I have with this is, I have a cat who's just sitting over here watching me record this. Uh, who's who requires looking after and being fed, obviously. So you kind of get the cat along with my apartment. So a little bit of a, a slight requirement that might turn some people off, but so far I haven't had a problem. So looking forward to using Airbnb for the first time. Uh, I did use a service called VRBO, Vacation Rentals by Owner, when I traveled around the world and rented apartments using that service in places like New York and Athens and London, uh, Hawaii, everywhere, <laughs> all around the world, which was great. I, I really love living in an apartment as opposed to a hotel. So you get to have a kitchen, you get to have a, your own room. You can kind of have more of a house that's yours. Um, pros and cons, of course, the hotel, you've got the cleaning service, um, room service, those sorts of things, but it's, it's different. And I think in this case, because I'm staying for a month, I want to make use of uh, an apartment rather than spend a fortune at a, at a hotel for an entire month. So just trying to figure out the logistics behind that. So that's pretty much uh, my main update for today. I look forward to being in Sydney. If you are down there, you know, like I said, if you know any events, love to hear about them. And um, hopefully 
I can maybe meet a few people. I've got some friends down in Sydney and uh, of course I'll be doing what I always do. It's sitting with my laptop, I'm gonna find some cafes and find some places to write from and just explore Sydney. It's not really a massive change in lifestyle. It's the wonderful thing about, uh, I guess, running a blog is you, you can do what you do wherever you are. Uh, I'll be just finding new cafes really and obviously you know, it's having different surroundings and uh, seeing what Sydney has to offer but it's, it's not, not like uh, the, a traditional holiday, I guess, like most people would go on a holiday to Sydney. I'm just really doing what I do in a different location, which I think is a nice uh, benefit from the kind of business I run. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll keep you updated as I go along uh, with this process and I want to tell, tell you a bit more about what I'm doing with um, some new products I've got coming out very, very soon. In fact, they're just getting down to the, the final stages now as I arrange the merchant facility and a few other things like that. But I will save that for uh, another video coming up soon. And that's it. So my name is Yaro, Y-A-R-O. The best way to find me is to Google my name, but you can also go to yaro.tv where you'll find all these videos and you can join my newsletter there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.